Good morning, DBS family, and hello, March. I hope you guys are ready for another rewarding month of 2022 because we have a lot of great contents coming up for you and we are going to be part of your daily routine Monday to Friday to ensure that you have a fabulous month. Now you know we're going to kick things off as usual with our morning news highlights. So stay tuned because we're waking up in the know. Thank you to our dedicated news team for always keeping us so well informed about what's happening here in St. Lucia. In case you missed it, you can also join us for our midday and evening newscasts coming up later today. All right, guys, now I know you are ready to head into the rest of the show, as am I. So stay tuned because we'll be right back after this quick commercial break. DBS family so you know one of the most enjoyable things here for us on the morning show is exploring the different facets of our own staff here at DBS and Mona Lisa has been no stranger to the camera but she's here in another designation today so we know we have a girl of many hats on our hands right now okay all right so why not introduce yourself to the people let me not even try to take the spotlight of that one introduce yourself to the people in the designation you are here today hi everyone i'm mona lisa saint lucia's tiktok queen <laughs> <laughs> cut the script she's hair under another hat today mona lisa Yes, I am here, employee of DBS, and also a dancer, a pendant maker, a breakfast seller, a woman of many talents. All right, so from A, B, and C, we are here for C today. We are exploring her pendant business, which is called Mona Lisa Magic. Yes, so we are here with our magic maker, Mona Lisa, who's going to tell us a bit about her crafting business. If you can see here, she's actually displaying one of her pendants. So take us into your process. How did you decide that you wanted to start doing this? Okay, well, first of all, I learned how to make this in St. Joseph's Convent Secondary School, right, my alma mater. Out. Shout out! <laughs> yes, I learned how to make them. The main ingredient is cornstarch. I'm not going to tell you all, all my secrets, but cornstarch is the main ingredient, and obviously some paint is involved. So... I made them once to go to Canada because I'm a girl guide. I went to camping and we had to exchange gifts with the other campers from other islands, other countries. So this is one of the things I made with the help of my mom. We made them together and that was a long time ago. And then just recently I decided, yeah, I need to make these pendants again. Like it just came to me as if it was a dream or your ADHD like you call it. <laughs> Yeah, so I started making the pendants again and I got a really good feedback from it. So I'm like, yeah, this is something I could do. And I was so happy because when people ask me, like, you know, when people say what they want to put on the pendants, like, it gave me so much inspiration, self-love, limitless power. Like, I'm like, wow, yeah, I was feeling the vibe. <laughs> I love that. that. That is so sweet. I remember at Leon Hess as well, alma mater. Um, they did teach us a lot of craft. I remember we featured Anna on here recently, mm -hmm. and she was telling us about her business, Naughty and Designs. Right. And I remember in Form One, they taught us how to do these bracelets. But Anna has gone above and beyond with it. I will not even pretend that they taught us the types of designs that Anna is spitting out yeah. these days. She's boss. She's a she, boss. She's really good at what she does, but. You know, they did teach us how to do that. I remember there's the arts class, the clothing and textile. So it's really wonderful how they're introducing us. They're introducing this stuff to us mm -hmm. in secondary school. And then we could blossom with it on later in our lives. So I love mm -hmm. that. I love it. So you said you create these. So it's all um, customized. I know you mentioned people usually tell you what mm -hmm. they want on it. So how do you decide what goes on a pendant or is it all um, customers telling you exactly what they want? No, they're not all customers. Sometimes it's me. Most times it's me that think about that think about, you know, my own what I like cuz like my mind is just so full of stuff. 
I just have to put it like that. It's so full of stuff. So yeah, I can just come and produce something, write something. I read a lot. I I look at a lot of YouTube. I'm very spiritual. So a lot of motivating things. All right, I love that. So all right, so if somebody's out there looking, I know Javon is running some B-roll so people can see the types of products you offer. I know you brought some into the office today yes. and I may become a customer afterwards. Um, how do people get in contact with you if they want to cus become customers? <laughs> okay, so if you want one of these beautiful pendants that I am selling, hey, you can follow my Instagram, Mona Lisa Magic, Mona Lisa dot Magic. You can also follow my other Instagram page, Mona Lisa dot Fire dot Surround. You will get me on either of these. So this is the quickest quickest way to find me all right and one of the things i definitely enjoy asking entrepreneurs because everybody has a different take on why exactly they decided to get into business and how they could share that expertise with other young entrepreneurs or people who are sitting on ideas for possibly starting their own businesses what would you say to somebody out in the audience right now who has an idea they're sitting on or is skeptical about starting their own business first of all stop sitting on that idea you need to produce it. Get a notebook. I have this notebook I call my spell book. You write down all your ideas so you do not forget. Because trust me, you can write it down in, let's say you wrote that down in 2007. And 10 years later, you'll be like, oh my God, I wrote that down. And now I can actually see a potential for it. Writing down stuff is so important, guys. And always be motivated. Don't listen to demotivational things on tv and stuff like that mm -hmm. always put your mind i like to listen to steve harvey a lot he has so much motivation so so yeah always keep yourself motivated keep yourself around a circle that motivates you if you need to stay by yourself stay by yourself that's my thing <laughs> You see, you heard it here first. Stay around positive vibes and positive energy. And that's why you're tuning into the morning show every day. Because, you know, we bring that positive energy that you need. And if you guys need motivation, we both work here at the DBS family. So we're your DBS sisters. Hit us up as well. Hit us up. <laughs> so with that, it's a wrap for Mona Lisa right now. But you may see her again in a different facet. You will see me again. She has promised that she will see her again. <laughs> with that, we're heading to a break. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of DBS's Lookbook. And I'm your girl, Vanessa Henry Long, your certified image consultant and personal stylist. Today, we will be talking about a very important topic, sustainable styling. And you may be wondering, what is she talking about? What is sustainable styling? Well, guess what? It is styling with the environment and preservation of the environment in mind. So how do you style sustainably? Let me give you three simple tips that you can use to style sustainably. Tip number one for sustainable styling. Buy less, reuse more. And what do I mean by this? I'm not telling you do not shop guys. No, I'm not asking you to do that. I am asking you to shop wisely. For instance, if you are going somewhere, you have an event coming up, you do not need to rush to a clothing store at first hand because you need an outfit. Look within your closet to see what you can use, what you can reuse to ensure that you have a good style mix. You can mix and match your outfits to ensure that you represent yourself to the best way possible. If the event has what I call a particular way of styling, for instance, if it's casual, elegantly casual, formal, depending on what the dress code is, look within your closet to identify pieces that can be in tune with that particular dress code. If you cannot find an outfit, then maybe you may need to head into the store to find what I call a staple piece or a statement piece 
to go for that particular occasion. But remember, it is important to think twice before you purchase the item. That was tip number one. Tip number two. Now guys, this one is dear to my heart. When I tell you this, it is dear to my heart. But it's very important to buy the best quality you can afford. And of course, when it comes to sustainable styling, one of the things that you would recognize is the fact that quality is better than quantity. Again, we're talking about shopping less. So you can understand if your outfits are of good quality, then you would maybe not need to go into the stores to shop very often. Hence the reason tip number two is tied nicely with tip number one. So again, it is important to check out for natural fabrics like bamboo and cotton and linen. Yes, they are a bit pricey. Uh -huh. I know. Just remember to not break that bank and buy the best quality that you can afford. Now we're heading into tip number three. And that is the area I need you to do some work. You would need to head into your closet, your wardrobe, and do what I call a wardrobe edit or a closet purge. Basically, that means assessing the outfits that you have in your closets. Some of us, we go on a shopping spree and we do not even check to see if we have certain outfits already because we are busy in the hype of sale or just trying to, you know, add a little bit of pizzazz to our wardrobe. But it is important to verify that you have what I call staple pieces, statement pieces, of course, some sentimental pieces that you may not want to give away like your wedding dress or your birthday dress or an anniversary gift. But there are times you would need to part ways with some items. So let me help you understand what a closet purge entails. This would mean you would need to get some baskets. You can call me to do it for you, you know, but I want you to be able to do it yourself. You would need to get some baskets or what I call just some areas, maybe have a pen and paper. You need to get four areas that you would designate. One I would call the users or the keepers. These are the things that you would need to keep. Then we have the menders. Of course, these are the items that we would need to fix up because there are items in your closet. Tell me, guys, you've lost weight, you put on weight. Some of them have a little hole here, a little button has gone off, a little seam is ripped off, and you would need to th fix it. So it's important to take out those items and put them in the menders pile. Then there are the dreaded outfits that you just need to toss. Let me tell you, don't look at it twice, just toss it away. So this pile, you would need to not donate it, you would need to toss it away because it no longer serves its purpose. Don't tie onto it, guys. And then, of course, in sustainable styling through fashion, you would need to give some things away and, you know, donate it to some people like the Salvation Army or even some entities that would give outfits to the less fortunate. So again, guys, I hope you are taking these styling tips very seriously because it will help you to do what I call preserve our environment and style sustainably. So let me recap this for you. Tip number one, buy less, reuse more or what I call again sustainable styling. Tip number two, buy the best quality you can afford. And tip number three, go into that closet and do your wardrobe purge. So this is me bringing you sustainable styling right here in my studio, Lovely Makeup Artistry and Image Consultancy. I'm your girl, Vanessa Henry Long, your certified image consultant and personal stylist. And this has been TBS's Lookbook. See you next time. Bye. Hey guys, how you doing? Today, I have an awesome exercise for, who am I gonna target today? Yes, all the lazy people that decided not getting off their beds. Those are living on carbon not too. Not me. 
Those are living on carbon too. <laughs> hey, don't come for me. But yes, okay, so this exercise would target people that just on the bed like to text. Texting their fathers, their mothers, their boyfriends, their sneaky links, all these and those, the cheaters, the non cheaters. That's for them. They just want to stay in the comfort of their room, their bed. This exercise is for you all. So if you know you're lazy, don't come to the gym, you just want to stay, hold their text, follow me on this one. So you see, I'm texting. So you don't get off the bed. The first exercise will be hitting the legs. So it's simple. You're texting. This is a leg exercise. You want to thin out your legs? You hit it. One, two, three, four. You see? I'm thinning it out and I'm still texting. Well, as you text in, focus. I'm focused. I'm focused. <laughs> and it. Okay, guys. So again, three or four sets of 15 or 12 or 18. This will thin out your legs. So that's one. The second exercise, you're still texting, but you're lying down on your back and your feet are together. And then you're closing it in. You're hitting your inner thigh area. So again, you're there texting. Noony, 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 no. Texting, texting, but you're still working out. My core is engaged and you're switching it in. Again, you can give three sets of 30 for this exercise. All right, that's two. Again, you're still lying down texting. You have one feet down, the next one is extended out. Core is in and you're raising. This one, targeting your stomach, your ab area, and just point it out and then, again, you're still texting, but you're still getting the job done. So that's the whole point of it, while working out, while texting in bed. So you do one set. So imagine I show you how to do lazy exercises. So you're, you're get, just getting it good. Again, you're raising the next leg. Remember, three sets of 30. You get it done. You still want to target the stomach and the bum area. Again, you're texting and you're switching left to right. One, two. Again, I'm still texting, but I'm getting the job done. Three. Four. Again, you see the twist. You're still on your bed, you get the twist done. Again, three sets of 30. The next exercise, whilst you're texting, you're going to do leg pullings. Texting, 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 texting the daughter, texting the husband, texting the wife, and you just on your bed and stretch it again. Three sets of 30. You're hitting your core and your thigh area, right? Last but not least, again you're down and you're pedaling while texting. So you're getting the exercise done. Whilst you're texting, you can even set your timer and time yourself different seconds, but you're on your bed or you're watching Netflix. You don't have to be texting, but you're watching Netflix. And you still get it. That's tough, I burn. <laughs> hey, I'm human, not a machine. I burn. Also, another exercise, you can give scissors whilst you text it. Not I haven't dropped my phone as yet. So you just hit in the lower body, you're targeting your stomach down. All right, guys. So, if you cannot come to the gym or just feeling lazy on days when you are locked in curfew, you cannot leave the house, Zero you can get excuses. no excuses. You can get it done at your home, on your bed, with your phone in your hand, with a friend. Make a WhatsApp video call, and you and your friends just get a group workout done. That's how easy it is. It's called technology, and being fit and focused. Good morning. All right, DBS family, that is a wrap for today's show, but it is just the beginning of your day. So let this be your invitation to go out there and be great. Be safe in traffic and, you know, maybe try to take a chance today to add some light to somebody else's life. I mean, it's a big circle of us here on the earth, as they say in Lion King, the circle of life. So you add some spice to somebody's life and it will come back to you. Somebody will bring you something to make you smile today. Keep that in mind. See you tomorrow.